Hey everybody, it's your pal Ken. I'm here with the Kronos 1.4 high-speed camera, which shoots very slow motion. I just got it and I'm very excited. Still learning, but I did film a few things that I wanted to share with you, like this video of a Phantom 4 just hovering. And we'll get to that right after my cool intro. I'm just kidding. <laughs> One of the things about high-speed photography is that you need a lot of light. It's been raining here in Tennessee for about the last four months, but I took the camera out anyway because a lot of you requested to see what a Phantom 4 looked like just in mid-hover. And though it's a little bit grainy at 640 by 480, this is what it looks like at 4,436 frames per second. Pretty cool, huh? And then I took it one step further. Definitely don't have enough light here at 640 by 240 on the sensor at 8,819 frames a second. I'm still not fully over the fact that you have the camera now and I don't. The Kronos films to a continual loop on laptop RAM, which is eight gigabytes. And I have a trigger here that I press right after I film what I'd like to keep. Hit the record, looping, line up my face, <laughs> and... <laughs> okay, hit the button, turn off this extraordinarily bright light, come over to play. All right, so you can use this slide to mark the beginning. Mark in the beginning. <laughs> Nice chin, Ken. Mark the beginning. Go to where you want it to end. Mark the end. Go to settings. It's set to the SD to save. Close that and save. Saving. This will take a minute. Oh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'm really looking forward to the imagery this is gonna produce on my channel. Chris Rollins, let's collaborate. You, me, and the Kronos. You, me, Kronos, lots of explosions. Big thanks to Nathan Bohr of Aimed Research High Speed Imaging Technologies. That's where I bought this little wonder from. And I appreciate the label on this lens cap because if it didn't say remove, I might not have. <laughs>